This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look here at the NASDAQ 30-minute chart. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing the concept of RSI breakout from a wedge formation. In other words, we're going to be taking a look at this breakout here. Based on the prior RSI highs. So there's a line right there. which is this breakout entry here, this gap up. Now, you can find more information, so I'll save some time. There's going to be a link in the playlist, excuse me, a link in the description of the video with this playlist, and you can take a look at this concept in detail. So check the description of the video for more information. All right, so again, let's draw this wedge. There's a wedge here where the RSI was squeezing. change colors here so there's a wedge right there so at some point you see what happened there was a price movement to the upside which is the breakout level and you can see the prices have not gone back to those levels since then so we can say that somewhere around here after you recognize the breakout is an entry situation right now what we're gonna do is actually confirm that those lines were legit and it's a very simple process i'll show you how you can use the same lines again so remember the first line was the rsi top side like that and then there was the rsi bottom side support or downside support now you might think that that's all these two lines are going to give in terms of this entry here with this wedge breakout but actually from a small time frame trading interday trading what we're going to do is we are actually now going to take the same line and extend them you can see here take the other line and extend it and you see where those two lines intersect is exactly where we get the next pullback from a swing trade perspective right here based on the two lines offering back test support hope that makes sense and in fact what made this area even more powerful other than the two lines intersecting and giving you support entry was also because we were finding uniform activity support at the rsi 50 level in fact if i remove the lines now we can see that we found support up just above that rsi 50 level so you combine the previous lines of support plus RSI 50 support and there was a swing trade to be had right here which is exact how this has played out and this has been powerful enough to take the market to all-time highs because if we take a look at the NASDAQ right now live trading you can see now we are trading at all-time highs right there now of course I should add since we can actually do this is don't forget that the buy signal from the 30 minute was more consistent with the uptrend which is higher why because the RSI for the Nasdaq was trading above 69.1 the RSI for the Nasdaq on the daily was creeping close to RSI 69.1 and more importantly we can see that on the monthly the RSI has been trading above 69.1 since late 2000 to 2019. So all the indica indicators in terms of strength were pointing higher. And so when we see that pullback on the 30 minute chart coming and confirming support on a small time frame setting, given that the big picture was showing RSI strength, then this was clear indication that the best way to have played this pullback area here from a short-term trading was to prepare yourself for a move to all-time highs. Check the description of the video for more information about the wedge or swedge breakout. This is Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E -A -C -S. Oh, and before I actually 
sign off here there's one other line i can draw right now we see the market coming off the highs of the day just want to show you that you can also use this 30 minute chart to arrive at a conclusion that one can use for a swing trade opportunity take the previous lows you can see that now you can see that this line now i'm going to go quickly here is where we get a resistance area and we get a market pullback of that level And what I'm getting at, to be honest, is we are coming back and we're seeing the market move back below the red line, excuse me, the blue line, which might also coincide with eventually the RSI dropping below 30.9 on the 30-minute chart, which might be a pullback area for a short-term swing trade entry for a pullback of some sorts. And remember, there is this line here that gave us the most recent support area. Remember the line right here, which is here. What I'm going to do is extend the line again. Why? Because we won't get a major pullback in the market until we break below this line. And at the same time, if that line offers support on the short term, then that's going to be also giving a swing trade for a bounce higher back to even higher highs in this market. And that's how you can use RSI line extensions for short-term swing trading. This is Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings now. For real, I am penning off. I am out. E-A-C-S.